right off there, this whole lot Chilling in the back of the track Niggas got packs trying to get them racks So, uh, what I'm thinking from my upgrade I might get rid of the JYs And just up in the, the voltage, I guess Or, uh Put some better power in there. I mean, yeah, that's still expensive too, but it's not as expensive as a full build. I mean, oh, that was water. Well, uh, yeah, I'm just going to disconnect these. Each of these are 45 amp hours. I'm going to take them out, and uh, here's what we're going to replace them with. They just came in, so, uh, well, they came in like a little bit ago. I ended up making bus bars and everything from, but... Here's what we got today. Ying Long. Each bank will be 40 amp hours. So I'm gonna put 80 amp hours in there and hopefully that makes a difference. And keep my voltage up so I could demo for everybody, no problem. You know, so uh Yeah, like I said, I ended up making my own bus bars, quarter inch thick. And uh Yeah, so I'm gonna you wire them in series, which I'll sh I'll show you guys how to wire these things, they're not hard. But usually I, I like to balance them. I, I wire all the negatives together and all the positives together on each bank. You know, same thing here. And I'll let them sit for a day or two and they balanced all, you know, they to 2.3 volts. In which they all come in kind of balanced out, but it's still to play it safe. You're going to hook up all six of them, you know, just balance them out when you get them. You know, just so you can play it a little bit safer. So I already done that. So uh, now I'm just going to start plugging them up and wire them in series. And, uh... I should be sitting at, I'm going to charge them around, what is it, like 14.3, 14.2 volts. Let me see, where's my charger? There it is. Sorry, I got a charger from, this is the original Yinglong charger that came with the, well, you could have just ordered. So, I mean, I don't know what it is. It's all in Japanese, Chinese, one of the two. I'm not sure. I'm not trying to insult anybody. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's the original charger for it. So, uh. Yeah, I, I charged it up to, again, 14.2, 14.3, and then I just let the alternator do the rest of the work, basically. And it should pick it up with the 320 Singer. It should pick it up to whatever voltage the, the alternator, you know, says it's supposed to be. I think it's like 14.7, but if it picks it up any higher, I'll be more than happy for it, you know. So let's get going on these things. Hook them up now. Do this, you always want to go a positive, negative, then a positive and negative from here. And a negative and a positive from here, and a uh, negative and a positive from here, which it gets you at the end of everything. You got a positive and a negative free, which after you hook them up, everything in series, these two will be the only ones that'll be free. Now let me show you. So I go positive, negative on this side. Oh, this is the the thread. It'll be M12175. It's what well, yeah, it's metric, but that's what it is. And uh, I ended up getting these uh these nuts were. They just go and have that nice grip on them. So once I tighten them and all that vibration, and yeah, I could have got the nine line ones, but I got, I got, I went a little more expensive on them, and uh, I got these, and they're just gonna grip right on there. Just torque it right. On. And then uh, I think the, the nut size will be a 19 millimeter. So for anybody that's curious too, it'll be a 19 millimeter. But the thread is uh, one's 12, uh, M12175. Let me go get this little impact real quick. Well, anyway, th this is how uh, it ends up to look. You know, you got a, a bus bar here, a bus bar here, a bus bar here, a bus bar here. Let me torque them down and uh, let me go get a wrench real quick. Now, since I got them all tight. I ended up using my little impact. They're not completely tight, but I just want to get them tight enough so they stay together real nice. Get these away a little bit. And then I grab my meter. It's a clamp meter, which I can still read voltage as long as I switch it to DC. You know, I got AC and, and DC on this one. So I go to DC so I can get direct current instead of active current. And then, uh, let me see if, uh, yeah, I got the, here you got your negative there and you got your positive here now let me see I hook both these up together let me see if I can have it sit uh, 
No. There we go. So now I'm reading 13.3.4, which is actually really good. Wow. So again, this is after I balance them, which I'm still going to charge them up a little bit more. But see, at 13.3.4, first bank. And uh, time to do the second one, and then we hook them up in uh, parallel and have both of them together, 80 amp hours. So, uh, yeah, let's get these in. We got them all wired up. Oh, all, all the bus bars hooked up nice and tight. And like I said, I used the impact. Uh, let me show you. It's a 19 millimeter. Where is it? Yeah, 19 millimeter. And uh, hopefully y'all saw that. But you can take my word. Again, tw it, uh, the bolt was uh, a 12 millimeter. 175 was a thread. So that's how thick the, uh, the ID is. The OD was a 19 millimeter. So then now it's time to get the smart charger out. And I'm going to show you how this works. So then uh, you just turn it on. This controls your amperage. And this controls how much voltage you want to, you know, feed to your uh, your batteries. So I just turn it up. Turn it up. And like I said, 14.2, 14.3 would be good. And I'll do 14.3, but let me just balance it from 14.3 to 14.2. Come on. A little bit lower. Yeah, that should be good. A little bit lower there. So then now... I turn it off, I hook up my negative, I hook up my positive, oh, not long enough there, so then here we go, I hook up my positive, and basically, turn it on, and uh, you see I, right off the back, it's reading 134 because that's around what the battery's reading, so I, I'll charge it slow, I'm, I'm never in no rush, I, I don't like to crank it all the way up, I think it goes like to 50 amps or something like that. But I'm in no rush to, you know, get them charged, like, fast. So just let them charge nice and slow. Yeah, 3 to 5 amp is fine. Let me go a little lower. There we go. That should be good. It, it charges nice and slow. And when it's done charging at 14.3 or wherever I just set it to, this will start counting down. And, this, again, this is your amperage. Well, once that goes to zero, charge, fully charged. And I'll do the same thing to the other one. So again, we just sit and wait, let them charge by themselves, and we just make a little crate for them, a little box for them, so we hook them up to the little Honda. Let's keep going.